Hello folks all over the world, despite the inexplicable YouTube shadow ban on our channel, we continue to try to offer you a better work, a special thanks to users like Roykeen Unofficial. It's thanks to your encouragement that we do not stop in this project. Anyway, we'd really appreciate it if you help us share the video and leave a like if you enjoyed it. There is another category of videos dealing with the paranormal, that claims to prove something by providing very little clues, such as the video posted by Reddit forum user, Kiraz, stating. My mom sent me this just now, and I want people thoughts on it, my mom asks my sister if she wants chicken or a burger, and it sounds like someone else responds to her question. Right back, okay? You want chicken or a burger? The tinny voice that many in the comments refer to as demonic, may actually have been generated by a computer, a voice assistant with artificial intelligence, a Android app or other device. Basically, too little to be able to assess whether this video deals with material of a paranormal nature. Indeed, in the comments many joke about it. So, it's really hard for us to believe. The heartbreaking scream of the spirit. And now pay attention because the story we are about to tell is totally real, creepy and genuine, and the evidence was taken by the police, leaked and never explained. We are in Roseville, Ramsey County, Minnesota, USA. It's December 26, 1984 and four teenagers, are driving during the night under a thick fog, to go to a rock concert by the well-known singer, Prince. While negotiating a wide curve in front of the Highland Park golf course, the driver lost control, and crashed headfirst into a large tree. The three young men wearing seat belts were unharmed, but the fourth boy who wanted to change places to sit in the front seat had just removed his belt before the bend. For him, John Rarig Boulware, the crash was fatal. He died instantly at the age of 16. Police officer Coyle and his partner were summoned within minutes and began processing the scene, as they had been in so many other incidents. Coyle grabbed the 35mm camera and began taking photographs of the car from various angles. A short time later, the lab technician called to say that Coyle needed to come to the police station and see what his photographs revealed. Posted on YouTube channel, Faces of the Forgotten, by paranormal investigator, Ron Carlson, the video, divided into two parts, tells the sad story of this boy and that terrible night. While he's laying there, there is a manifestation. It looks like an image of a profile of a boy screaming. That's right. Now, when I first heard this story, I got to Deb, our ancestry helper, and I said, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. What did he look like? What did John look like? So she finally found a picture of him. And when I opened my email, I saw that picture, my jaw dropped, because I was like, that's him. Whoa, that is him. So there's the boy. And they say that was his soul leaving his body. Now think about it, that that picture was taken literally minutes. Now, he could have, he probably died. He, he may have still been alive and passed just before the police officer took his pulse. So you have to imagine he was only dead a few minutes, maybe a, a half hour at the most. So the conjecture is that his soul was leaving his body and he was screaming the words, no. Now, what's spooky is in the picture is there are three phenomenons besides the boy. Now, of course, the, the apparition of the soul leaving, but we also had a red and white streaks all over the place, which now the police officer he went to, uh, years later, he got the photo and the other photos, and he went to f photography shops, and he wanted to get explanations, and no one could explain everything. They could explain a few things, but not some of the things that I'm going to talk to you about. They could not explain the, these red and white, they're like lightning, not lightning bolts, but like electrical charges, like a Tesla, Tesla charges almost like a horror movie. And they were going through the boy, John, and there was also somewhere, I think, up here, up in this spot, somewhere above the car, 
there was apparition there was an apparition of three individuals now i i've got to go back and pick it up and maybe you can but it showed three individuals here and i say it was right in this position here and it is said that those are three relatives of john bulware that were coming to take him away Now, the freakiest thing that I find is if you look at the picture, which would be about right there, driver's side door, guys. Door is partly open, it's shiny, it's a metal skin, the paint, dark. And you can actually see right there the reflection of what looks like a lab, which he, I believe, had. It's his dog. And the people are saying that that was his pup who had passed on before comforting him. While there is no video in this tale, the incredible police photography astounds anyone who hears this sad story, along with the painstaking details gleaned from Ron Carlson and his YouTube channel. Entity in the Window Hospitals are inevitably places of life and death, of healing and suffering, which opens up possibilities for lost spirits to wander about. People who have died there, as well as dedicated healthcare workers who cannot drop their calling, are some of the known entities that call the abandoned Maysville Hospital in Kentucky, USA, their home or place of business even in the afterlife. Those who have visited the facility have reported the feeling of being watched, both inside and outside the building. Neighbors reported seeing lights on in the windows, and an apparition that likes to hang around the top third-story window. Shadow people, presumably former patients, have also been seen by the living. The entity of a woman, carrying her newborn, has been seen walking through the maternity ward, perhaps looking for her family or trying to get home. Shadows of doctors and nurses were seen throughout the building. Even before the hospital closed, an eyewitness awoke from his surgery and noticed two nurses watching him, who vanished before his eyes. Posted 16 years ago, the video we are about to show you was shot with a mobile phone of the time, dating back to 2007, on the YouTube channel Maysville Explorer, and is the only video on this channel. Unless we are dealing with very sophisticated graphics processing, the entity appears to conform to the distance when zoomed, and there does not appear to be any pixel distortion from editing. Lucy is a research biologist from Tyler, Texas, USA. In 2020 he opened a TikTok channel titled, Lucy Trevelyan, to post scenes from his daily life and his family, but a video posted on April 17, 2021 aroused the curiosity of many paranormal experts. As we have seen in the past, many people who work in the hospital have witnessed strange phenomena during night shifts, and this is what happened in the emergency room during Lucy's work. Caught by the ER hospital security camera, the video was shot at 5 in the morning in an area totally devoid of patients, and both she and her colleagues became aware of the terrible anomaly in real time. In the total absence of air vents, the curtain covering the emergency room begins to move until the operators in the desk and the nurse on the left arouse from fear. Someone in the comments also claims that there is a dark shadow behind the curtain. It is difficult to deduce it from the analysis of the video, certainly that room was the theater of suffering for someone, and the energies that manifest themselves are the probable consequence of the events that took place there. For a long time, some videos on the paranormal theme have been circulating on the various social networks, which boast of having captured phantom ghosts or time travelers who materialize in some places. Such as the case of the video posted on the TikTok channel entitled, F. Paranormally, where we see two women come out of nowhere as a woman crosses the street. 
In reality, it is 99% video editing, especially when the women look like perfect bystanders integrated into the context and completely ordinary. Dear friends, this episode is also coming to an end, I sincerely thank you for following us, stay tuned on our social channels and on our YouTube channel to find out what's new. Leave a like if you appreciate the episode and we'll see you always here, soon, very soon, for a new and terrifying episode. Good night.